Hey traders, it's nice to see you guys again. My name is Andrew Raider and my job is to find you guys valuable trade ideas and help you be profitable tomorrow. So let's do that. Right here I got my magical spy chart for May 19th and beyond and of course all the trade ideas like flow, rotations and more. Hey, if you learned something or find a valuable trade idea, it help me out a lot if you guys hit that subscribe button, but let's look at the chart. All right, and looking at the spy chart for tomorrow, what are the expectations and what trade ideas or paths for the market can we expect? Well, looking at this chart right here, I'm looking at SPY and I always chart on SPY and what we had today was a big pump. Market makers are driving the prices higher. They're buying the highs because they have to. A lot of chains are mishedged and we also have Nvidia. Nvidia was a monster example of them having to continue to buy the highs. Again, with Netflix even, no news on this one, just having to continue to buy the highs. And when market makers get hit like this, they have to rebalance. So tomorrow's expectations aren't too crazy. We have a macro perspective up to 426 possibly and 423, but right now I'm expecting chop tomorrow but the overall thesis is not to short. This is a strong, strong market and shorting would be ill-advised. Tomorrow, a few key zones you need to watch out for, that 418.90 to 419 and then down to that 418. This $1 range should be strong support for the market and we should expect to chop off of this parallel channel. And this parallel channel that's forming, if we do gap down into this zone, expect to push under, but again, chop between these zones. Do not think you're going to get caught in a big swing trade. I'm only gonna be looking for day trades if I do short, but again, if we do gap into this zone, I will be looking for this to slightly crack, but then after that, it's gonna be chop. But our liquidity levels down here are at that 415.50, right around there at the base of this move where liquidity was formed, and beneath that is this 414 level. All right, and looking at rotations, what are my favorite sectors where I'm seeing big money? move into where's our edge well right now I'm seeing a lot of movement in XLB a lot of these names are coming across on 30 minute for that long that golden zone between this right here is typically where we look to long but I am really looking at materials materials are really strong right now and you can see this downtrending parallel right here we talked about this the other day is that you have this downtrending parallel and whenever you see a trending parallel like this you want to bet on the buyers and I will be looking for a continuation over for day trades in materials I did enter calls for FCX for June 2nd. So these are on fire today and I will expect these to continue with that material strength. But a lot of the good value in rotations are found throughout the day as I scan for them. So if you do wanna go follow my Twitter, I will update you throughout the day. Like here, I mentioned that we had a value in defensive rotation, which likely means that the markets are going to chop. Right after that tweet, we expected that chop as there was no clear rotation. That's what happened until we met that 415 demand. So just at Raider Trader 101, if you have any questions, hey, tweet at me and I'll answer. All right, I am looking at option flow. What did I scan for tonight? What trade ideas can we get from the sus orders that came in? Well, if you guys don't know my option flow strategy, I was taught we scan for aggressive and confident trades. This is by a strict criteria range. and I'll put up what information is being presented to you right here on screen. But right now, our first one is 5.9. This was for June 16th. And this one right here, 280K with the $60 strike. And why this one is aggressive is, first of all, no one trades 5.9. But look at this parabolic movement. We mentioned a lot that when you get a parabolic movement, yesterday we were talking about this, this is called the stick. And then oftentimes you get a big drawback here. This is the bait shorts in, and then we get one more pop to the highs and beyond. So I will be looking for this drop right here and looking to see if I can catch any sort of move around that 55.30 to 57.30. We do have a whole month for this to play out. So if this continues to push higher, then it's likely not gonna be in our favor because he already is green. And you know how we like to get these at their max pain point in a discount. Max pain is our edge. And so O-R-L-Y, this one is the second one. It's a smaller order, only 210K, but it does offer some valuable insight. Because no one trades O'Reilly. So pulling up the chart here, what can we see? Well, we can definitely see an example where you're gonna see a lot of people drawing a trend line here, but this is likely gonna crack that trend line, come back down into this 912, and we should see a bounce off of that. This one's typically not a big mover, so if we can get this one to draw down slowly, chop, bounce, slowly, come back down to that 912, I will be looking to be a buyer. But again, a whole month on that to assess that, so we will be looking for that, but that's the key level there. And then 616 Burl, holy cow, 624K. This is a big order. Out of the money, aggressive, everything we like to see in flow. And this one again is for the 16th. 
Now, this one, what do you see? You see a trending parallel. And what I mean by trending parallel is a parallel in the direction of trend. And what this means is that buyers are in control. Yes, there is a selling pressure down, selling pressure down, but the whole time this is coming down and bleeding out, buyers are still in control. So when those sellers give up is when this stock will rocket. And since we've already filled the gap back here, my estimate is we come back down into that 160, dip below it possibly, and then buy that up through that 180. A whole month, but I will be looking for that level to take some entries. And that's pretty much it guys. You're gonna have to see how we open. I will update you guys on Twitter. And of course, if you wanna know tomorrow's game plan, expect chop. Don't expect anything too crazy. You're not gonna have an $8 range tomorrow. You're not gonna have a $6 range tomorrow. But please be careful when you are trading. Don't go too heavy on same days. When you do day trade, if you do, get one expiration out plus and get those scalps. If you guys are feeling frustrated, I totally understand you. These markets have been very flat, very choppy, and very punishing. But remember, it's all about survival. Don't go too revenge in. Don't go for that big same day contract trade. Relax. It's about surviving till these ranges open up because once they do, I promise if you lock into my strategy and you lock into how I trade it, you will succeed. And you guys haven't even seen the best of the option flow. Some of these flows go a thousand percent plus, like I remember last year on Starbucks and FDX. But other than that, guys, stay happy, stay humble, stay healthy. I will see you guys in the order books this week and have a great rest of your day. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let our ties in the hearse. I've been on the vibe, kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle.